things we need to understand. Uh, and one of the simplest things to start off with know your climate. Know where you're building. And back in the 50s, you know, back in the in many years ago when we didn't have electric, you know, these cars and bombs, and before we had good heating and cooling systems, we designed our buildings correctly. We built them with narrow footprints so we could get daylight in because all you had was a single ball hanging from the middle of the road. Uh, we, we allowed for natural ventilation. We allowed for, for good penetration of, of Air, the airflow we go through, we had transoms over the doors so we could natural ventilation through. And we forgot all that. We forgot how to design with the climate that we're in. Um, this is a tool, it's, it's a freebie. It's called Climate Consultant, uh, made by the University of uh, Berkeley. And what it does is you plug in your climate data into this tool right here, and it will tell you the technologies that work best in your climate. The down here, conventional air conditioning. Really, based on this climatic study, you only need conventional air conditioning 8% of the time. So, we have to think about that. Do we really need air conditioning in this climate when we're only going to be uncomfortable 700 hours a year? Uh, so we're spending a lot of money to, to cool a building in 700 hours a year. And then conventional heating is 52.4% of the time. Conventional doesn't necessarily mean that you're using electric or gas. Conventional could be an active solar, or it could be work with burning, or some other type of technology. But that, we're, we're looking at 50% of the time, you're still going to need some other heat input in your boat. And I encourage you to look at the simple technologies, you know, orienting your building correctly. So we need to look at the simple things Getting daylight in your building, uh, you know, the daylight outside is much more than we need inside. We only need about 50 foot candles inside, and there's 2,000 foot candles right outside that, that wall. And we, we tend to block it out and turn, turn these on. We need to think about the simple stuff first, and then, once we get that done, then you look at photovoltaics or sort of high technology um, heating and cooling systems, because now you can reduce the size of those systems and make more.